Derek Camacho here from Tona. During the pandemic and the quarantine, Dominique and Tyler wanted me to show them how to uh, make a twin tip board. So I figured I'd use this opportunity to make a video. After using a template, here they are cutting out the form core uh, of the board and just placing it on the rock and roll just to make sure the size and everything fits correctly. The rocket table is basically a fiberglass mold that sets the concave and the exact rock line of the board. So when the board comes out, it's an exact reproduction of the rock line that we need. Once the outline shape is finalized and it fits the mold correctly, we'll then take the blank into the shaping room and under the lights and using the shaping tools, we'll then profile the blank, uh, basically get the tips to the correct thickness that we need and also shape the deck and the rails. After making sure the mold is well waxed, we'll then prep it for fiberglassing. So we will uh, determine which fiberglass layer we're going to use for the bottom AC or four ounce uh, fiberglass layer. And then we strategically put different layers of carbon fiber, uh, all determined by the amount of flex and the flex pattern that we need on the board. Making sure all the cloth is wetted out first uh, before we place the uh, foam core. Once we've placed the core in the correct position, we'll then prepare the vacuum bag, make sure it's correctly sealed and then put it under high vacuum pressure to make sure all the composites are sandwiched together correctly. After a typical cure and time of about six hours under some heat, we'll then remove the vacuum bag and material and uh, remove the board from the mold. Now released from the mold and this leaves the bottom shape of the board exactly the concave and the rock line that we desire. Here we are just checking for imperfections making sure there were no air bubbles caught in the fiberglass layer. The board is still quite flexible because it only has the bottom layer of fiberglass. This will stiffen up dramatically once the top layer is completed. We protect the mold so that we can use it for the top layer of fiberglass. We're back in the shaping room now. We've trimmed off the extra fiberglass. We'll then spend some time shaping the deck to get the exact thickness of the board that we need at the tips. Also reshaping the rails, just making sure it's exactly how we want it before we continue. This phase, we also put in the inserts for the foot straps as well as the plugs for the fin holes. We are back in the glass room. I will wax them all a few more times. And in the background, you can see Tyler and Dominique uh, preparing the carbon fiber layer for the uh, fiberglass top. The board is laid back onto the rock table, making sure the alignment is correct before we put the layers of carbon fiber on the board. Here we have a couple layers of uh, two-wheel carbon fiber. We're making sure it's fully wetted out. And then uh, we will also put a layer of unidirectional carbon fiber that helps control the flex pattern that we need for the board and gives it added strength. Making sure it's all wetted out, we then put a layer of peel ply covered on top with a batten material that basically allows the resin to suck through into this batten material when it's under vacuum like you see now. Another six hours under heat, the board is now ready to be removed from the rocket table. You can see now that the uh, top with the peel ply is gonna be peeled off the board, removing all excess resin from the layer, leaving only the correct ratio of fiberglass to the resin on the deck of the board. And you can see the board has stiffened up considerably. Back in the shaping room now, we're trimming off the excess carbon fiber from the board and final sanding the rails, making sure the rails are nice and clean. The next phase is a pretty important phase. It's where we sand the board making sure we don't sand too much into the uh, carbon fiber that this could weaken the board. After sanding, we'll then apply what we call a hot coat of resin. It's basically, it's just a high gloss coat of resin that fills all the pinholes and gives us a thin layer to do some fine sanding on the board. 
to improve the finish. With the hot coat set, we'll then use a very fine sandpaper and go over the board one more time with the final sanding process. Open up the insert screw holes and the fin holes, give it a clear coat and polish it up 